Constructing your life is about much more than just building a bank account. Each week, join real estate entrepreneur and mindset coach Austin Linney as he interviews guests who are constructing their dream lives and impacting the world around them on a daily basis. If you're an entrepreneur or wanting to start a business, or you just want to hear motivating stories of how others have overcome the odds, you are in the right place. And now for your host, Austin Linney. Guys, welcome back to Construct Your Life Friday Rant. This is Austin Lenny here. You know, this one is, it's a big one. It's a big one. It's, I would say it's one of the things that I work on the most, not always winning at it. Um, And I'll call myself out. Um, And we're going to talk about today is communication. Um, It's hard. You know, it's really hard. Uh, I want to read you this quote so I don't mess it up because I want to set the tone here. Um, George Bernard Shaw said the single biggest problem in communication is the illusion that it has taken place. The single biggest problem in communication is the illusion that it has taken place. Man, if that doesn't hit you like a ton of bricks, I don't know what will. As a CEO, as a spouse, as a brother, a sister, uh, entrepreneur, uh, a worker, um, a friend, we think that people can read our minds. And I'm going to let you in on a secret. You don't want to get up here in this mind because there's a lot going on. And it would scare most people of how much I'm handling up here. And I'm getting better at it. And I'm trying to write. And, I, and you can get frustrated. You you can. You're you're more inclined to get frustrated because you believe that you've you've articulated exactly what you want, the way that you want it, and then somebody doesn't do it the way that you want it, or they mishear something, and you jump down their throat. Does that ring a bell to anybody? As a parent, as a spouse, as a boss. My question to you is really simple. Have you figured out the personality of the person that you're managing or the person that you're working for? Their values on what they deem important are probably not the same as yours. So by you getting mad at them because they don't value the same things that you do, you're swimming upstream without a paddle. Because that's who they are. And so by you getting frustrated and by you getting upset because you think they don't hear you, it's not that they don't hear you. It's that they just don't value the same things that you do. And so you can communicate till you're blue in the face. You can talk till you're blue in the face, but it just might not pick up for them. And so what you need to do and what I need to do, because I'm speaking to myself, is slow the fuck down and make sure that your point is purely articulated with the details necessary to get across what you want to have happen. Instead of rushing, 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 I'm talking to myself, instead of rushing around and assuming that everybody can read minds. I move at a speed that would tire people out within an hour. But for me, it works. For me, I do it. I love it. It keeps me busy. It keeps me happy. But through all that, we need to make sure that we are communicating properly. And this is most important in a relationship. Have you truly sat down with your spouse or your significant other and ask them what they value because you might be buying them jewelry. You might be buying them cars. You might be working your ass off for all these things that you think they want. And what they really want is just your time. What they really want is safety and security. And because you value the cars, the houses, the everything you're working towards something and you're killing yourself towards something that your partner doesn't even fucking want. 
So whose fault is it? Whose problem is it? Is it theirs or is it yours? I'm going to let you in on a secret. It always comes back to you. Universe of one. And so it's very important that we have these conversations with our employees. We have these conversations with our bosses, our employees, our spouses, our brothers, our sisters, our mothers, our families, because what they want might not be what you want. And for you to not communicate properly about what you want and just assume you're going to set yourself up for failure because you're always going to be clashing against each other because you don't understand each other's core values. And hey, here's the great thing. It's cool if you have different core values, but have compassion for what they need and what you need. And I promise you that when you open the lines of communication and speak clearly and voice what you want instead of hide it down because you're worried about what somebody's going to say, you are going to get more out of life than you want because you asked for it in a proper setting. So I hope everybody got some value from this and we'll see you next time. Thank you for listening to Construct Your Life with Austin Lenny. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to rate, review, subscribe, and pay it forward by sharing with a friend. Most importantly, take this opportunity to start constructing your life by taking immediate action on what you learned. For show notes, resources, and more information on one-on-one coaching with Austin, visit constructyourlifepodcast.com.